What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today is the final day of the Lunar Festival, it is the final week of kind of all of our Interstellar Hunters Patricia testing, for the time being, of course, once we get to Core of Origin Chest, we'll be able to test her out at Destiny Transition and such, but on an early game account, this is kind of one of our last days to kind of see how things go. Now, there's one game mode we haven't really tried yet, that is the Void Vortex. We are in Valiant right now. Really don't know if it's something we're going to be able to progress in. So let's take a look and see how this run goes. Uh, honestly, I'm going to put her towards the back of the lineup. We do have some other good heroes, though, to run as supporters with her. And we'll just see how this actually goes. Uh, we, of course, don't have a core of origin on this one. We have beaten some of these plans before with our previous setup. We'll have to see how good it does with this Patricia hero. Because I don't know how it's actually going to turn out. Now, luckily, in these game modes, we have the speed advantage. Uh, but again, anytime we're facing off against a carry, it might kind of suck. Because, well, we really want to get active skills off with her. Carry is going to prevent her from doing just that. So we'll see how it turns out. If we can get enough stuns and healing, then we might be okay. I don't think Amon Ra is going to be as big of an issue. But again, it seems like our energy is bugged because we've been at like zero energy this whole time. Unless Carry sniped us again and I didn't notice it. But we should have 50 energy right now and we don't. See right there. We're using a basic attack and now all of a sudden somehow we have full energy bar i don't i don't know we don't have sublimation we don't have core of origin we don't have any of that we just need to see if we can survive this guru to hit honestly we can which means we might be able to make some progress through valiant so as long as we can get through these waves uh this looks pretty good that's a pretty average wave so let's see if we can skip ahead to wherever we left off on this account and we have transcendence protection on a lot of these even when we don't is a little iffy might need to re-roll it um yeah might need to go for it on some of these planets that we typically would not need to i think having it on this hero is much more important which does make the push a little bit more difficult we are definitely going to need the protection on every one of these planets, which it looks good so far. And overall, not too difficult. Wow, we actually have it on almost every single planet here. So this one we took a loss on, and it might be because of the Amon Ra on the enemy side, just kind of preventing us from healing the way we want to. Uh, could also just be because there's two Garudas, and surviving two of the actives is very difficult. Let's see how this turns out. We might also be getting taunted too, which is a little annoying. But we do have a chance to CC the enemies as well. But we're going to have to eat these Garuda actives, which is going to be brutal. And of course, these shields from Amon Ra. Just a tricky wave in general. And of course, this is the one where we have all damage reduction. It might be because there's a couple Garudas here. And a uh, little RNG will probably get us a long way. We want to see if we can get ourselves to Defire, though. Uh, now, going for the protection seems like it's kind of required for this setup. And most of these lineups are going to be pretty easy, I feel like. Even though we haven't beaten anything in Valiant 4. Let's see if we can get past it and get to the higher levels here. Again, multiple carries are a huge disadvantage for us because of the fact that energy drain is so bad. But some of these waves are doable even if there are double carries, which is nice to see. Some of them kind of sketchy. Some of them looking a little sketchy. And again, it really comes down to the carries and the Garudas. It does seem like carries and Garudas are kind of an issue for just about every hero out there, though. Everybody wants to have an active skill. Granted, some heroes don't need the active skill. Some do need the active skill. Trish is one that you really, really want that active skill because that helps her survivability by giving her dodge chances and all these other special effects. Not having energy with these double carries. Oh, is it so annoying? Just draining all that energy. Somehow we still manage to pull out victories here and there, though. So if we can skip these battles, that would be good. However, doing this one without 
protection seems pretty impossible because of course you're dealing with that 80 percent all damage reduction so getting that protection is very important the second you do shouldn't be much of a problem and you gotta remember this account does not have good treasure train it does not have good star spawn so we are severely lacking when it comes to the basics yeah this is just a really tough way for us let's see if we can reset it it's similar but it has a weaker horse up in there which should be an easy clear yep there we go and this one um surprisingly difficult but we did get the clear not too bad so once we get up to valiant area three you'll notice we have the same thing here all damage dealt reduced that is a big yikes because we need her to do as much damage as possible and most of these waves do seem like they're very very easy for us as long as you high roll and get a lot of transcends protection you'll be in a really good situation some of these waves a little bit more difficult and a little bit rng based but again getting kind of lucky so valiant doesn't seem like it's going to be too big of an issue here well triple carry says otherwise even double carry kind of says otherwise i think we need to avoid the combination of carry garuda and amon ra if we can get rid of at least one of those then we're in a good spot if we have all of them then it becomes a little sketchy garuda getting that ticks ghost right there really good for us it just kind of sucks that Patricia is the hero that's not great at like round one burst damage because I feel like that's what some of the best heroes in the game kind of have. They have that huge burst in the early rounds that really, really pays off. That active skill is brutal, but we have our own active skill coming this round. And yeah, that shredded apart quite a few targets there. And maybe oh man it's that russell drake combo right there that is brutal it seems like but maybe it's the russell drake that's the real kind of downside because we just don't have that survivability to beat the wave or we're just kind of finding our peak for what this hero can do which might be something as well getting to defire might be a little hard and if she can't get to defire that is not a good look for this hero like at all at all can kind of get her way there again it does seem like maybe drake is the big common denominator here in making her just die way too fast but especially when you're comboed with a russell that ping damage with drake is just insane they came out at the same time what was it like third or fourth anniversary i think it was fourth anniversary um uh, man it's been four years since he came out it seems like now, Penny's not as big of an issue for Patricia either, but in combination with an Amon Ra, Garuda, Harry, I think that's what makes this wave so, so lethal. But being paired with Hyperspace on our Islamok is still pretty solid game plan. Here. It's just those Amon Ra shields are going to get really hard to ping through with just a Patricia. So much of her damage is going to be converted into healing. Yeah, and it just kind of takes a lot of time to get through this. Eventually, you might get some wins, but Valiant, and we're already struggling, not a good look. So we'll continue to test her in the late game in the coming weeks whenever we get our next big event. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. We'll check her out a little bit more in the weeks to come. I'll see you guys next time.